Hi everybody, this is Liam from Running Remote. And if you have not seen me before, this is a video series slash YouTube channel, which we talk about everything connected to remote work or what we call remote work, what you might be thinking is called work from home. And today we are going to be talking about how to navigate your company through the coronavirus, AKA the emergency work from home preparedness plan. A lot of people are emailing us talking about how hey, how do you deploy a work from home policy? How do you make sure that everyone's working from home efficiently? Hey, we're freaking out over this coronavirus thing. How do we actually work from home um, efficiently? So this is the video that I am going to send to those people when they email me about that particular question. Let's get into it. So number one, in terms of just emergency preparedness, you need to implement redundancies as quickly as humanly possible. So inside of Time Doctor, which is one of the companies that I co-founded, 100 remote employees, 35 different countries all over the world, definitive time tracking tool for remote work. That's a plug, by the way. Uh, we are implementing a policy with our support team. So we've recognized that our support reps, maybe 20 to 30% of them at any one point might be sick. So we need to be able to make sure that we're doing cross training inside of our organization so that if 30% of our support team goes down, people from sales, people from customer success, people from marketing can jump in and actually answer tickets so that the company functions properly. So you need to be able to do that type of assessment as well. What are the critical functions for the business? And then how do you create redundancies either by hiring extra people or by doing cross training so that if there is a problem and some of those people end up seriously ill and not able to work for the next few months, you can very quickly stop gap that particular problem and have other people jump in. Second, Pretty obvious for me, uh, get everyone working from home as quickly as humanly possible. The faster that you can get all of your employees to self isolate, the faster that will actually be able to number one, slow down the spread of this virus. But for you as a smart business owner, you'll be able to make sure that your business functions properly and has a lower chance of everyone getting sick and then no one being able, available to actually run the business. So get everyone working from home as quickly as possible. If you have questions connected to that, uh, ask some questions down in the comments below and I will be able to answer them for you or someone else in the company will be able to answer those questions for you, uh, but it'll probably be me. I really like answering questions on YouTube. I don't know why. Number three, encourage your team to self-isolate. So it's not just working from home, it's actually also getting them to self-isolate. So what does that mean? Don't go to religious functions. Don't go to movie theaters. Don't go to any large group of people. Do not let those people interact. Or, well, don't let them. They can do whatever the heck they want. They're, they're, they're adults, right? But encourage them to stay at home. So try to do whatever it takes to be able to make sure that they can continue to stay from home. So maybe you give them some type of employee perk from st for staying at home, or you know maybe you uh, deliver groceries to them or something, whatever it takes to be able to make sure that they are still at home, particularly while the coronavirus pandemic is washing through our society. It's super important to be able to make sure that your business is operating properly. So it's not just work from home, it's also making sure that the people that are working from home are self-isolating. Run an assessment in your mind and assume that 20 to 30% of your employees will be sick and will not be able to work inside of your business. How do you fill the gaps? Think about that. Sit down with your management team right now and try to figure out those strategies to be able to make sure that you know what people are doing and what people are not doing. How are they being cross-trained? What can a marketing person do that also a support person can do or vice versa? Uh, you need to be able to prepare for this because that could be a very definitive scenario that happens in the next weeks to months. Process documentation is absolutely critical when working from home. Uh, we like two tools for process documentation, which is GitLab if you want to use a free version and Trainual if you want to have a paid version. 
What a process documentation tool will do is it will allow you to be able to pull all the sacred knowledge from your organization, which is basically one individual has a certain piece of information that is absolutely critical to your business. Take that information, document it, digitize it, and share it with everyone in the organization. If you have not done that yet, now is the time to do that. It only takes one person that maybe runs payroll as an example to get sick and then no one gets their paycheck because no one knows how to process payroll properly. Get all that information written down and double it up. Get other people to know that information so that your company will be able to work properly. If you have any more questions, we actually have a completely free course on this particular subject. Just click down in the description below and you'll be able to get access to it. And if you have any other questions or comments, please leave them down in the comments below. And if you're interested in subscribing, we talk about this stuff all day long, particularly about how to take your company remote. So subscribe to this YouTube channel. It helps out the algorithm quite a bit. And if you're interested in checking out some more videos, some more videos are floating around uh, on this screen next to my face somewhere. See you in the next video.